Hey Colbys, I'm Napata and I'll be your instructor for this tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the pirouette, so I'll show you what it looks like. So for the pirouette, we're going to have my inside arm up high in regular baseball grip. My outside arm is going to be coming across my chest, bringing the palm to face the pole in the back. So I'm not trying to grip the pole here. This hand is just going to be used for pushing and sliding down. I'm going to be pushing and sliding down to help me rotate when I'm doing the pirouette. For the legs, my outside leg is the one that's going to be taking that first step and the only step. So my foot is not moved from this spot when I'm doing the pirouette, okay? So I step into my outside leg, hand comes across my chest, putting all my weight on that outside foot, rotating around. Once I get to the back, I'm going to flip this top hand so my knuckles are to the pole. I'm going to keep rotating and my bottom hand will come off and my top hand should automatically grab onto the pole. When you're in your heels, you are rotating and when you're not in your heels. When you are rotating on your tippy toe, all right? So rotating on the platform of the heel. You're not rotating like this. Okay? No. This. Okay, point the toe and push into the ground. And it'll help you get a much smoother rotation. Okay? Pretend that you are a ballerina. Right? So, again, the right arm is up, or your inside arm is up. Outside leg steps. Lean forward on that leg. All of the other legs are going to be picked up. Arms sliding down. Flip top hand and re-grab once you turn around. Now, I know the pirouette is a lot going on, all these body parts, right? So let's break it down even more. So let's focus on just our arms. My right hand is up high, right? This one, outside arm coming across the chest, open palm to pull. Don't do anything special with your legs, all right? We're just gonna turn around. So, pretending we're doing our pirouette, we're going to slide our hand down as we rotate, right? Facing the pole, keep rotating, now you should be facing the back. Your hand should be all the way down now. The top hand, once you get here to face the back, the top hand is going to flip over, knuckles to pole. From here, you keep rotating, let go of the bottom hand, keep rotating, keep rotating, and that top hand should automatically grab the pole as you go into your walk or wherever you're going to go after. So again, just the arms. Inside arm up high. Outside arm coming in, palm open to the back of the pole. Rotating in. Sliding the hand down. The hand should be down. As we face the back, top hand flips over, knuckles to pull, keep going, let go of the bottom hand, grab the top. And there you go. Now the legs. The legs is the outside leg that's going to take that step. I'm going to put all my weight on that leg, using my tippy toe, right? Pushing into the floor. So I'm putting all my weight on that foot, lifting up the right foot or your inside foot. You're going to lift up that foot and it's going to stay up the whole time. It doesn't matter how high you lift it, it'll look different if you leave it low and it'll look different if you bring it up high. Try it different ways and see how you prefer to do it. So step, here comes the arm across our chest. As we slide it down, we are rotating only on that foot because our other foot is lifted, right? We're rotating, rotating, rotating. Once we get to the back, flip over that top hand like we did, let go of the bottom, and now you can step down with that inside foot. That's when you finally come down with that foot that you've had hovering this whole time. <laughs> so again, 
Outside leg, steps, lift to the right. Inside foot, hand comes across the chest to slide, push down. Once you face the back, feel the top hand, keep going, keep going, keep going, and touch down. All right, there's your pirouette. Let me show you from the back real quick. So, take a step in my outside. Here comes an arm, lifting the foot. Rotate, rotate, rotate. This is my back now, so I'm flipping over my hand. And I keep it going. So there's your pirouette. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another lesson at Pole Work.